Hey, it's Luke. The more I use Ableton Live 12, the more I discover little things that I love in this. So here are five of them. The first one is probably something that you've heard about already. It's Roar. It's an effect that does distortion, saturation, coloring, and it's surprisingly useful. I didn't think I'd be using it this much. I do mostly house music, and I thought it'd be mostly for guitarists, but it's been really useful. So I have a sound here that is just a plain bass sound. It's got quite a bit going on already, but maybe we can do some extra stuff to the, the sound. So let's just try a few of these presets just to get started. This you can really tell, it brings a lot of the upper harmonics out. And Wow, this really brings it out. Even if we were to take this, it's adding, it almost seems like it's adding some reverb on the top, even though it's not reverb, but actually it's it might be bringing out the reverb in, if there is some in this original sound. Let's look here on the effects. No, nope, there's none. So it's making it sound reverby, but I'm finding it to be a little bit too much. So if we do just, we add just an auto filter at the end, we can get, we can adjust that. Let's go back to Roar here, and something that's really interesting, and they've been doing this to a lot of the Ableton devices lately, is uh, if you hit this to expand it, it brings up a whole bunch of extra options at the top. So instead of going between here, where you're going between these two sections and going to everything um, with this, it brings it right here. And this here, the modulation matrix that would usually be right here, where you have to keep going into menus to get to it puts it right here so you can see everything you need right on the screen here so uh, that's sort of nice that they did that and you can work on the two individually no matter what type of music you're making I'm sure you'll find some use for it now number two is something that people have been asking for for years and when they released Ableton Live 12 they didn't really mention it that much it's this here so in the past if we wanted to print something bounce in place whatever you call it you would go to your clip here right click and then you hit freeze track and then you'd have to go to it again and do flatten track but now just hit undo you've got this option you might have spotted it here a few seconds ago but you can just go freeze and flatten track in one step it's all done so instead of having your midi track here that you're working with all of a sudden you've got an audio track that you can work with in here as a clip which is really nice to do okay number three and it might have been premature for me to say that i love this because i actually haven't tried it yet but i love the fact that it's in here it's called golden era hip-hop drums and let's look through packs here. It's a new pack that's in Ableton Live 12. And I love the idea of this. And their packs are always impressive sounding. So uh, I know I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to love this. And I'm noticing already there's MIDI clips. I didn't even know that was in there. And the drums. This is MPE compatible. So if you have Push 3 or an MPE compatible keyboard, MIDI keyboard, you can do some interesting stuff with it. A lot of their drum kits that are made for MPE, uh, you'll notice that on the pad, and you can try this if you have Push 3 already, you can try different areas of a pad left and right not just up and down and you'll have different variations of the sound so it's really interesting what they do so there's some mp kits themselves and uh which are under here i'm still using push one so i'm just going to load one of these regular kits and let's just see what what we have See, these sound great right from the start i get excited with new sounds and the ones in ableton live they just sound so good You can even choose some variations on the kit. So these are using likely the same samples, and yes, they are, but they're processing them differently. Anyways, this will be really fun to play with. And there are a few new packs in Ableton Live 12. There's something called Lost and Found. There's the performance pack that we've heard a lot about. There's Trap Drums and this one here. So uh, anyways, it's worth trying out the new sounds and seeing what you can come up with. Now, number four seems like such a small thing, but it's actually really useful. It's this browser history here. So it used to be if you typed something, it would just, you type it and whatever, it's gone. Now you can go back and forth but the interesting thing is it will actually go through stuff you did in the browser. So when we open this MPE kits, it opens that up so we can go back to where we were. If 
there's a sound that you're thinking, oh yeah, I heard this sound earlier. I wanted to use it and you can't remember where it was. You just go through the browser and it's sort of nice because it gives you a history of what you did. But also if we were to use meld and we load it into a track and we do some, some other stuff and we, you know, put this preset on and then we move on and we add a compressor. So we go to the audio effects and we add the compressor here. If you want to add another instance of meld, instead of going here and typing meld again, you can just click back and then you're right back to where you were. So you can go to another track, add this, and then you can just go back here and keep working with whatever you need. Okay, number five is something that I haven't heard anybody talk about, anyone at all. And you'll be happy you stayed till the end because this is really interesting. You know how there's this thing now where if you've got drums, here, let's just load a kit and I'll show you. You can make some changes to the sounds. You can have this drum kit here and then just switch it over and load a completely different kit that sounds the same. So it'll find notes that sound sort of the same. We've heard about this one, and if you're not using it already, it's really worth playing around with. This is a great feature. But what I noticed is this. On the synth sounds from the Ableton devices, so we'll just use that browser history thing here to go back to Wavetable. And let's say we've got this sound here. This sounds like a kick drum. If we hit this, it will find a whole bunch of other sounds that are very similar. So let's try this with a pad instead. So if we've got this pad here, we hit this here and it'll find similar sounds. You can tell the similarity in this and it won't necessarily go just to the same device. It'll find sounds in Ableton that sound similar. but it'll also tell you with these bars here how similar the sounds are. And the interesting thing I did, just playing around with this for a few minutes, it helped me find some interesting sounds that I probably never even looked at. There's so many of these and they're all interesting. See, they've got that same sort of sound, but they sound different enough. Anyways, I was so excited when I found this, it's really worth playing around with. So those are some interesting new things that you can find in Ableton Live 12, and I hope it can help you make some great music. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.